Erie will be hosting a big dodgeball tournament tomorrow. The best dodgeball players from around the eastern part of the United States will be taking part. And, you know, just mention, <laughs> just mentioning really dodgeball brings back a lot of memories, good and bad, to some people who played the game in gym class. Our John Last focuses on dodgeball and the memories in this edition of The Last Word. I love that. I like kickball better. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of the sounds I remember from my gym class days at Rocky Grove High School. And those memories returned when I heard a big dodgeball tournament was coming to Erie. Forget Ben Stiller's movie about dodgeball. My memories are more in line with scenes from a wonderful turn-of-the-century television show called Freaks and Geeks. My gym teacher was also the varsity coach. I mean, we're going to do something fun. I'm going to let you guys play dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mind the game, but it must have been terrifying for the smaller and weaker kids who found themselves lined up against the big boys and the jocks. Ladies, put down the mascara, get in there, play. Come on. The rules are simple. You get hit, you're out. If the opposing team catches a ball you throw, you're out. Let's throw, plus. He got my ball! I'm out! <laughs> yeah! Allison Leibelsberger is the phys ed teacher at Erie Rise Leadership Academy Charter School. She has a master's degree in adaptive phys ed. She studied how to change the rules of established phys ed games. She allows her students to play dodgeball. The kids love it. It is not in our curriculum, but it is something that the kids really enjoy. So yes, we do play it if it's earned, an earned time to play. So it's like a reward kind of thing. They love it so much. Yes, yes. Everyone remembers their time playing dodgeball in gym class. <laughs> some school districts banned dodgeball years ago because some students felt bullied. The bullies could not resist breaking some other rules. You don't aim at someone's face or aim at another vulnerable area of the body. Mrs. Leibelsberger believes a good teacher would not let that happen. I think it's a great opportunity to teach kids how to play nicely with each other. Because there, there is a possibility of getting hurt if you're not treating the game with respect. Mrs. Leibelsberger also teaches kids to focus on team defense in case one player does get picked on. You can block an oncoming ball with your own ball. She also has rules that allow players to come back to the game after they're eliminated, so they don't have to spend most of the class just watching and feeling like this. Dodgeball is kind of a stupid game, isn't it? With the last word at Erie Rise Leadership Academy Charter School, John Last, Erie News Now. Out the gym shorts and everything, man. He was all in for that story. It was all about dodgeball and kickball when we were going to school. Yep. But I heard him laughing in the yeah. enemy booth after that shot. Oh my God. <laughs> what a story. All right, the USA Dodgeball Premier Tour will take place tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Erie Bank Sports Park, and admission is free.